Nobody in this room has ever met a hopeful kid who joined a gang. That's what I wanted. Join a gang and see the world. <laughs> G-Dog is my best friend. That's not just G. That's G-Dog. Well, I don't call him G-Dog, but I understand why they call him that. I love you, right? You help me a lot. Now we're the largest gang intervention program in the U.S. of A with folks from every corner of the county. You can walk through our doors and not be judged for what color, what gang, what you look like. All they're asking you is how can we help? The minute I walked into the lobby, there was a homie with a big old smile and he said, welcome to Homeboy Industries. He said, are you on parole or probation? <laughs> you make a distinction that I think is important. You say you don't work with gangs, you work with gang members. Gang violence is not about anything. It's just the language of kids who've given up. We have people that are crippled through gang violence. The wounds are physical, you could see it. But then the wound to the soul is invisible. Growing up the way that we've grown up, our mindset is a certain way, right? We don't think too positive of our own life. Father Greg never gave up on me. Father Greg was always there for me. I got out of prison when I was 21. I'm like, oh, I just came to see if I could get a job. It's not just a job and it's not just a paycheck. They re-identify in this safe environment. Who am I now? I know that I'm fortunate to be a part of something that is changing the way people look at people. All the stuff that I've been through is really serving a purpose now. There's a saying, show me a place of struggle and I'll show you a place of strength. No matter what happens, this is true family. This is true community because of you, Jay.